Hello, today I am going to tell you some important information to get started with Fusion 360 as well as show you how to make a house. In Fusion 360, there are two environments, the sketching environment and the modeling environment. In contrast, in Thinkercad, there is only the modeling environment. The sketch environment revolves around drawing things in 2D on a plane or flat picture. In the modeling environment, there are three planes, the X, Y, and Z plane as illustrated by the rotation cube on the top right, which is over here. So if you look right here, this is the X axis, this is the Y axis, and this is the Z axis. When you open a new file, Fusion 360 defaults to the modeling environment. However, in order to get started, you will need to first make a sketch on a plane in the sketch environment. In order to enter the sketch environment, you will need to click on create a sketch and then on a plane. Let's try creating a house. Create a sketch of the side view of the house on the XZ plane. The sketch tools are located here. You can create a line, rectangle, circle, or spline, which is basically a form of a curve. I am going to start off by creating a 50 by 70 rectangle. I am going to type 50, hit tab, then type 70. If you mess up, you can just double click on the number and type a new number, then hit enter. Now I am going to draw the roof of the house by drawing an isosceles triangle or a triangle with two equal sides. I am going to use the midpoint of the top side of the rectangle for the middle of the triangle. To find the midpoint, I am going to move my cursor along the line until I find the cursor stays fixed in place for a brief moment. When it does, that is the midpoint. I am going to make my line 15 millimeters high and connect it to the end point of the rectangle. Do not worry about drawing the other side of the roof yet. I am going to draw a 5 millimeter line from the top of the triangle and then a 55 millimeter line that is parallel to the line of the triangle. The two parallel lines that show up as an icon when the lines are parallel is called a constraint. Constraints are used when you want a line to follow a certain geometric rule. I am going to undo the line that I just drew to demonstrate this. I am intentionally not going to make it parallel. Now I am going to select the parallel line constraint to make the lines parallel. Now I am going to make a long line from the triangle so I do not need to figure out the length of the line. Next I am going to connect the two lines using a horizontal line. The line will stick in place when it is horizontal. I am going to use the trim tool to get rid of the excess of the line. To draw the roof on the other side, I am going to use the mirror tool. I am going to select the lines of the roof that I want to replicate and use the line that points to the middle of the triangle as the mirror line. Use the trim tool to get rid of these three lines. Click finish sketch. Press a corner of the rotation cube to see three dimensionally. Now we are going to use the extrude tool. The extrude tool can be used to make sketches three dimensional by pulling them out and can also be used to push things inward to cut away material in a certain shape. You can choose what you want to do under the operation menu. I am going to extrude the house by 100 millimeters. 
to extrude in the other direction, you can type in a negative number. Alternatively, you can extrude on both sides by changing the direction to either two sides or symmetric. After extruding, the sketch that you just extruded from will disappear, but you can see it by clicking on sketches and then clicking on the icon of the sketch that you desire to see, which in this case is sketch one. We are also going to extrude the roof by 105 millimeters. Since we want it to extend past the body of the house, it also needs to be extruded by negative five millimeters on the other side. We are going to add a second part to the roof to make it look a little nicer. I am going to select the front of the house or this face right here as the plane to create a sketch. I am going to move my cursor along the roof until I find the blue line which represents the top of the rectangle. Then make a 20 millimeter line from the midpoint and draw a 40 millimeter line that ends parallel to the starting point of the first line. Connect the two lines. Use the mirror tool to mirror the triangle that you just drew. Trim the center line. Create a window by clicking on the offset tool, selecting the lines of the triangle and entering 5 millimeters. Click finish sketch. Extrude the outer triangle without the inner triangle by negative 70 millimeters. Make the sketch visible and extrude the inner triangle by negative 68 millimeters. Now we are going to draw a sketch on the plane that forms the front of the house. We are going to make the door first. I am going to draw a 40 millimeter high line at the midpoint and draw a 10 millimeter rectangle on the left side. Next, we are going to make the window at the midpoint between the door and the endpoint of the face of the house. Draw a 15 millimeter high line. Next, make a 10 millimeter line to the right. Now click on the rectangle tool and draw a 25 millimeter height by 25 millimeter width rectangle. Offset the rectangle by three millimeters to make the window frame. Trim the guiding line.
Now mirror at the left side to the right side with the mirror tool using the line at the midpoint of the front of the house as the mirror line. Trim the mirror line. You can make a doorknob by adding a 3mm diameter circle on the left side of the door. The diameter is the line that passes through the center of the circle that connects from the left side to the right side. Click Finish Catch. Extrude the frames and the doorknob by one millimeter. Now I am going to select the previous catch to make it visible so that I can extrude the door inward. Extrude the door inward by one millimeter. We can make a chimney by making a sketch on the bottom face of the house. Draw a 15 millimeter height by 20 millimeter width rectangle. Offset the rectangle by negative 3 millimeters for a hole. The negative number indicates that we are going in the inwards direction. Click Finish Catch. Use the rotation cube to get to the view shown in the video. Extrude the outer rectangle by 90 millimeters. If you want to make windows for the rest of the house, you can repeat the process described for the front face of the house for the other sides as shown in the time lapse that will play after this. Thanks for watching and make sure to come back for more 3D modeling tutorials.